everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to go through a full setup from getting your assets, doing a bit of post production, um, to getting your files online with captions, audio descriptions, BIF thumbnails and DRM um, proxy security. Okay, So we're going to go through the full setup here so it might be a bit of a long tutorial but bear with me. Okay, so what you'd normally have is you'd normally have your video asset, whether it's an MP4, an AVI, or an M4V, or a mod, anything that you've got. Um, then you're going to want to do some post-production on, on your asset. So we've got a couple of audio description files here, which are in .aac format. So we've literally just converted some tracks um, just for these. They're not actual audio descriptions. But one thing you're probably going to want to do is generate some subtitles. So we're just using a command line tool. Um, to generate subtitles, so you can just get if you type in auto sub on GitHub, you can easily get this tool and then you can just run this command. So, what this does is it just goes off and it generates an SRT file for us. Now, once you've got the SRT file, you can then open it up in a text editor, you can check all the text is correct, you can then convert it into your different languages so you can go full fledged um, with this setup. So, we're just going to go off and let it grab our SRT file. So, while it's doing that, we're just going to open up our BIF desktop app that you can download through the dashboard of S3 Bubble. It's currently only for Mac but we will we'll be um, porting it over to Windows shortly. So you can just drag your file in and what it will do, it will go off process and it will generate a BIF image for us that we'll be using for Netflix type uh, descriptions. So one thing we want to do now is we're all set up with our post production but we want to get set up with AWS so we can start to upload our content. Okay, so first of all, we want to make the connection with AWS. So let's go to IAM policies in the dashboard of S3 Bubble. I'm going to copy this IAM policy, and then in the dashboard, you can set up a free AWS account. Um, once you're set up, you'll go to IAM users. Okay, you want to go to policies under IAM users, and we're creating a policy that will allow access to our services. Okay, so we're going to review the policy, and we're going to call this cost saver because we'll be doing some cost saving within this tutorial because we want to get the most optimum setup for AWS with media convert so now we've created our policy we now have to attach that to a user again we'll just call it cost saver programmatic access and we want to attach the policy that we just created okay so we're simply attaching the policy to a user create the user so once those users created we can come in and we're going to copy our keys and we're going to paste them into s3 bubble so I'm just going to do that now Okay, great. So as you can see, I have copied and pasted in my keys. I'm going to click Submit. Now it's just going to go off and it's just going to check some access. You can see we're already connected to S3. We're connected to CloudFront. And the only other thing we're going to be using is Media Convert. We're actually not going to be using Media Live. We're not going to be doing any live streaming. We're just going to be doing VOD. Okay. So as you can see, we've got our Media Convert set up. So now let's go ahead and create some buckets. We want to create one bucket to store our files so we're going to go to encoding and storage and we're going to call this bucket and this is where we're going to store our files and we're going to call this bucket cost saver shared namespace so let's give it a better name cost saver and we're going to call this storage storage okay so cost saver storage I'm just going to copy that we're going to be putting it in North Virginia and what we want to do is we want to set an amount of days to retain our assets before they're pushed to Glacier to cost for cost saving to save us money. So if you imagine you're uploading gigs upon gigs of movies, you don't want them all sitting in S3 because you're going to get charged for that. Whereas you can push them over to Glacier after a certain period of time and then this will save you money moving forward. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. This is for very large setups, but it's definitely a cost saver if you want to do it. So let's create that setup. Great, so we've got our cost saver storage bucket where we're going to be uploading our assets to. But when we encode them, we want to output them to a delivery bucket that is collect, um, connected to CloudFront. Okay, so what we want to do is create a delivery bucket. Okay, and we're just going to call this delivery. And again, CloudFront in North Virginia. So let's create our setup. Uh, we'll just give that a couple of seconds to complete. Okay, great. So as you can see, it's created our delivery bucket. Now, one thing we want to check is the bucket policy. Make sure it's connected to our CloudFront distribution. So as you can see, it's connected to our CloudFront distribution here with the principal. And we're also going to check the bucket cores. Okay, great. So it's all been set up for us, our delivery bucket and our cost saver bucket. So let's upload our assets. So let's go to bucket. And let's upload 
and it's going to open the, the location in AWS. Let's click upload and let's drag in our assets. Okay. Now we don't need to drag in the BIF, but I'm just going to put it up there. Okay. Okay, just while this is finishing off uploading the actual asset, let's go back to S3 Bubble. And now one thing you want to do is go under services, media convert jobs. Sorry, not jobs. Under services, media convert templates. We're going to want to make sure that we have a cost saver template set up, okay? So click okay so I'll leave this in because you might get this too many request exception it doesn't mean there's anything wrong it just they have um, limits the amount of times you can call the API but once we get set up with our cost saver template that's great so this is basically what it is it's their generic um, HLS template but we've taken out some of the options that you don't need to save on costs okay so this is going to be the most cost efficient um, template for you okay so let's head back uh, that is nearly uploaded Oh, again, we might as well note that you can also create an audio HLS template. So this is if you want to encode your files um, into audio, if you're going to be doing um, DRM proxy security with audio as well, uh, then you can certainly create that template. Okay, so we're almost there. So while we're going to there, let's go ahead and go to storage, S3, and let's go into our cost saver storage bucket. Okay, so you can see we've got all our files there and we've successfully uploaded our files here, which is great. So what we need to do now is uh, we want to select the URLs for some of these files. So just simply click. And I'm just copying them into a text editor because we'll be using them in the media convert process. And our subtitles we're going to be burning these all directly into the file. Now we don't want to worry about the BIF image. Okay, so we want to go to Media Convert Encoder. Okay, and we're going to go to Next, and we're going to add a caption file. Okay, so that's going to be our SRT file. I'm going to call this English, but this can be any files, any name, doesn't have to be English. And let's add our audio files as well. So this can be English. I'm only going to add two for this tutorial. You can add as many as you want. Splish. Okay, now we're using the BIF Netflix Files thumbnail, so you can download that, but we're not going to be adding watermarks. Um, so let's head to next. So this is where we can add proxy security. So what we want to do is we want to head over to the site where we want to add our videos on. Now we've installed the S3 Bubble WooCommerce DRM plugin. So let's add a new post. Okay, and we'll call this post S3 bubble. We're going to come back to it in a minute, but the main thing we want to grab is our proxy URL. Okay, so you can grab this here. If you're using the other product plugin, the proxy URL will be in the sidebar menu. And again, if you're using the streamium theme, the proxy URL will be in um, the customizer under settings. Okay, so we've got our proxy URL. Let's paste that in there. And we're not going to be clipping. You can add VMAP advertising, but we're not going to be doing that. And now this is where we want to go to our cost saver, because we want to output the file from storage to our delivery bucket. So this is all our HLS files. Cloudfront distribution is in progress. Now just a note, when a Cloudfront distribution is in progress, your media won't show. Um, you're going to wait for it to come to deployed, but we can still set it up. And under encoding template, we're going to be using our cost saver template. So let's click save and submit. Great, your job has been successfully created. Would you like to go to the job section? So yes, we can. Okay, so we're all pretty much set up now, but what we're waiting on is for one, our CloudFront distribution to um, go from in progress to deployed, and from this status of progress to go from progressing to complete, which means it's converted our MP4 into HLS, it's burnt in our captions, it's burnt in our audio descriptions, and we'll be adding the BIF thumbnail at, at the next stage. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video here while we wait for this to process. Okay, great. So as you can see, our video has now finished encoding. So it's encoded to HLS. So what we can do is we can actually navigate into that video. 
Okay, now one thing to note, it's not going to play because we used DRM protection. So if you add any proxy DRM, it's only going to play from the website that you set that URL. Okay, so remember that it won't work with Roku or, you know, if you're going to be using DRM proxy encryption. Okay, just make sure you have that noted. Okay, so I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to head over to the website. I'm going to put in our code here and I'm going to click publish. Okay, updating. So if we view this post, we should get an error. Okay, the website has not been connected. So this is where you need to make sure you connect your website within S3 Bubble. To do this, under channel, websites, we're going to add a website, and we're going to simply paste in our website here, okay? So once you've done that, we now have a connection. Let's click connect. Okay, so what we should get is another error because it shouldn't play Oh well there we are. That just shows that our cloud um, distribution has started to deploy but not fully deployed. So we've got our captions, we've got our audio descriptions, we've got our picture in picture and we've got our adaptive bit rates okay, set up. So what we can do now is we can go back to S3 Bubble. Let's go under channel and it's now in players. Let's go and view our player. Okay and we can upload our BIF thumbnail. Okay, and let's just upload a image as well, so we can use for our poster. So we've got our image and our poster and our bit thumbnail. Back to our website. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got our image poster, got our bit thumbnails and we've got our captions okay and then we've also got our audio descriptions okay so switch to our audio descriptions our captions and um, yeah we're pretty good to go everything's set up and we just need to now wait for our cloud distribution to fully deploy but we can come in and we can change our meta info to your chin and we put a trailer and, um, description here. Okay, we could put show playback rates. Um, we could add skip buttons and a, sh a share button, but we're not going to be doing that. Let's just add these for now. Okay, so we're all set up here. And one thing you might want to do at this stage is you might want to add a video teaser. Okay, so um, sorry, attach your video to a WooCommerce product. Okay, because so you want to actually monetize your video. So let's just add it to a product that we've set up in WooCommerce. So let's just see what happens when we do that. Okay, now the reason it's not loading, this is one thing you might have to know, it's just for debugging, it's because while I did this tutorial, um, I actually paid for this product before on another video, so this product knows that I'm paid, hence it's showing me the video with no problem. So if we go to products, add new, and we'll put new video, please pay, and then we can give it a product image. And what we want to do is want a simple product. We'll sell this video for $9.99. Another thing you can do is if you've got the subscriptions um, a memberships plugin, you can add it to a simple subscription. So it means it will work subscriptions as well. Uh, let's just publish. Okay, now let's head back to our post. Let's go back to into a post. Okay, now let's add it to our product that we just created, new video. I just want to refresh. Okay, great. So now it knows that I haven't paid for this video. So if, when someone wants to pay for this, they'd have to go through. They'd have to pay the ninety-nine. I'm um, sorry, nine ninety-nine, and then they'll be able to view the video. 
um, but a lot of people aren't going to want to view a video that just says pay for it because uh, you don't really know what you're going to get so let's add say a 10 second teaser now, teasers are great because you want to add it at the point that you're really going to get in depth with a tutorial where the, the information is going to be something that they're going to want to pay for okay so they'll then have access for 10 seconds okay so they still have all the functionality and then after 10 seconds they're asked to pay so they've got their video teaser they're asked to pay and again this is just all built into how you have WooCommerce set up on your website they add to cart, make payment, they can come back and then they have full access to the video so this is a really powerful way to actually monetize your content so that was a bit of a long video tutorial but it's taken us from start to finish with set up with AWS we've got Biff thumbnails, audio descriptions, captions um, it's protected by DRM, we're using our WordPress plugin and yeah there's a lot set up, any questions drop us the line at support at s3bubble.com thanks